an angel and a demon wrapped up in one rose up for you next. Originally marketed as a shrub rose, it's now been reclassified by David Austin as a short climber. This is the Wedgwood Rose. No other rose in my entire collection produces blooms anything like this. It is really quite extraordinary. And once you know how to handle this particular plant, it will be an absolute joy in your garden. Uh, first and foremostly, why it is a demon. It has the largest, nastiest, backward facing curved barbs on any rose that I grow here. If you get tangled up in this particular plant, you will regret it. It will not let you go. Um, so just a little word of warning. If you have children, if you have um, silly pets that might get themselves into silly situations with it, it is probably not the rose for you. It produces a mass, and I mean a mass, it is incredibly vigorous, of long arching stems which it sends up from the base. Maybe a dozen or so more every single season, so it's incredibly vigorous. The foliage, as you can see, is incredibly dark green, it's incredibly glossy. A very, very fine serrated cut to the outside edges. The biggest benefit with this particular rose is also one of its largest downfalls. The size of the blooms are absolutely incredible. They are a very, very interesting and delicate shape. The most softest, softest, delicate pink of any rose that I grow. They have this wonderful sort of feed me, see more uh, shape to them, sort of very tight in this sort of very tight rosette in the very centre. Hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of petals producing this wonderful, wonderful, it's beautiful, it's romantic, it's absolutely stunning. The colour, the slight serrated edges to the tops of the petals, it is absolutely beautiful. You will need to provide this particular rose with quite a lot of support. I eventually have opted for a obelisk, which is about 10 foot tall. I made that out of hazel canes and then wound uh, hazel around that to give it support. And I'll just lightly tie that in just to give it some support. Either that or you could put this up on uh, a, a pillar or a fence, uh, but it will reach around eight to 10 feet. So it's quite, quite tall and quite leggy. Uh, the huge multitude of petals that this particular flower has does unfortunately mean it is massively susceptible to balling and that's where the outside petals, because they're so fine, if they get wet just at that stage before they open up, you'll find they won't actually completely able to open, they'll get stuck together and it's you might as well just cut the bloom off. That's because there are so many hundreds of petals within the flower itself. But as you can see, it is absolutely sumptuous. These blooms are a little bit spoilt by the rain and I've brought them in here to do your review for you today. Now it's also marketed with a small amount of scent, but my nose picks up absolutely nothing from it at all. Realistically, it's grown and I keep it because it is absolutely stunning. These enormous blooms are absolutely beautiful. They hang ever so slightly as well because of the, the, um, the sheer weight of them, but it is an absolute joy once you know what to do with it. So this is the Wedgwood Rose, introduced and bred by David Austin Roses. Uh, you will need to give it some support, uh, enjoy its massive, enormously huge blooms, which I'm assuming if you were into drying and collecting the rose petals would be absolutely perfect for that kind of thing because they are incredibly heavy. But do watch out for its barbs and give it plenty of support.